Bless you, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come and pray, I humbly pray, Lord, that you give me the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, but I am God's dirt. Your news is not talking about this right now, but, but nonetheless, it is happening around the world. The Holy Spirit is moving in these last days, and he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. A revival is breaking out in communist China. The Chinese government is doing all they can to stop it, but it's still happening. A revival is breaking out all over Asia, and thousands of people are running to the altar to be saved, being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is on the move in Africa. Thousands are coming to Christ in record numbers. And in South America, it's the same. The Holy Spirit is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, and people in droves are coming to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. The story is the same, and it's being repeated all over the globe, in Europe, Australia, Africa, Asia, and now it's coming to America. People are seeking God, the one true living God, and not the false God of these feel-good entertainment churches, but the true living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that parted the Red Sea, that God. These are the end days when the Bible says something very important, it says it twice, fulfilling the two witnesses' law of Moses, Deuteronomy 19 and 15, and at the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall a matter be established. So if it's in the Bible, it's going to happen. So prepare for the rain, the Holy Spirit rain, to fall down upon all, upon all flesh. I give you Acts 2 and 17, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all, upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And the Holy Spirit came to me a few months ago and told me it was time for me to put on my galoshes. I thought that was rather strange, and I wasn't sure just what it meant. So I prayed on it, and very quickly the Holy Spirit told me that he was about to pour out his spirit like rain upon, all, upon this nation and upon on the people. So it was time to get into my galoshes. I still know the rapture can and will happen at any moment, at any time, without warning. But until then, I give you the Holy Spirit rain from heaven. Romans 13, 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation nearer than when we believed. Be in prayer. Pray for the Holy Spirit to rain down His Spirit upon all flesh, upon this nation, upon the lost. Pray for the sick. Pray for the weak that they find their strength in the Lord. Pray for all. I pray for all of those things, and I pray for you. God bless you. God keep you in yours. And pray for the Holy Spirit reign. Amen.